bro. What is even going on here? I thought that we all stopped playing with these things when we were like five, maybe six years old. No, look, I ain't trying to bash on anybody for still having like childhood toys, man. Like I still f with Beyblades. Beyblades are dope. I am so for real. They had Moses parting the Red Sea with a Beyblade in that show. Like you cannot look at this and tell me that that isn't dope as fuck. But this isn't just playing around, all right? Like I ain't got nothing against people playing with some toys. You know, if that makes you happy, that makes you happy, dog. But apparently this is training. Yeah, I'm not even joking. She is training for this thing called hobby horsing which is an actual thing it's where people pretend to ride stick horses like actual horses then run around like they are the horse dodging obstacles like a dog at a dog show now i know that there's a gazillion different sports out there really small ones that i know nothing about like pickleball all right like i was I, I draw the line at pickleball like what even is pickleball i guess it's like tennis in some weird way so i guess you know that that sport is understandable but what is hobby horsing at that point just go get a real horse and i don't know ride it i feel like hobby horsing is the definition of white people shit dude jesus christ whose goddamn white baby is that anyways how's it going broskies it's your boy lofi and uh usually i'm not someone to talk about sports all right i didn't really know how football worked until my sophomore year of high school and i was in marching band dog like i had to go to every single football game and it took me two years to figure out how the sport that i had been watching for two years straight actually worked so in other words you could say I'm a fucking dumbass, but not as dumb as the sport that we're going to be talking about today, all right? So I came across this video of this girl. You know what? Uh, no, no intro, bro. Let's just roll it. Oh, dude, I didn't know it went down like that. She's over here huffing, puffing, out of breath, man, dude. This must be a really hardcore, super intense sport. Bro, the UFC ain't got nothing on her, bro. She's training like crazy out here. Okay, but seriously though, there is no way, right? Like, all jokes aside, there is no way that prancing around with a stick between your legs makes you this tired, this exhausted. From basically the sport equivalent of playing around with your friends on the playground. Like, <laughs> dude, I just realized that there's text on the screen, bro. Hold up, what, 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 what even is this saying, man? Let's, let's read this together, guys. Hobby horsing is not a sport. It's easy and everyone can do that. Oh yeah? This is me after my dressage routine. I was passing out. I couldn't breathe. Almost throwing up. Dizzy. Shaking. Whole body. Burning in pain. Yeah, if your entire body is burning in pain after prancing around pretending to be a horse, then I think you got a bigger issue there. You cannot convince me in any conceivable universe that this is an actual sport that people have real competitions for. Like, th are there championships for this? I have so many questions. What happens if you win? Can you get a full ride scholarship to college for this? If so, then anyone who's ever been to a furry convention is going to be really excited. You, you tell me that if I had pranced around with a stick between my legs with a fake horse at the tip, could've got me a full ride to college, and instead, I'm over here making YouTube videos? Bro, I think, I think I'm about to fucked up in life. I seriously don't understand why this girl is out here pretending that this is something that's so hard to do when anytime that I've looked up anything about this for this video, it's literally just like six-year-old elementary school kids playing around. Now, don't get me wrong. I do remember going ham on some soccer and football games at a recess back in the day, all right? But it wasn't to the point where I was like, <laughs> acting like an anime character who just got punched in the stomach, bro. Like, it's not that serious. Do you guys remember those, like, people who, whenever we had to do the fitness gram pacer test or, like, run the mile in school, who would pretend that they would get so sick and so tired that they had to go back to the nurse because I can't run the mile, I'm getting sick, I'm throwing up, I almost passed out. Yeah, but we all know full well that they were faking it because, because they wanted to, you know, get a bunch of attention from everybody by being like, oh my god, are you okay? Did you just came back from the nurse? You know, um, yeah, this is one of those girls. Like, you can just see it in the way that she's looking around at her surroundings that she's actively doing this, that she's clearly doing it for attention because she wants to seem like, oh man, I'm working so hard. Look at me. This sport is so real. Look how, look how heavy I'm panting, dude. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is it that she actually does that has her this tired? And don't worry, I'm about to show you, man. It's actually, you know, it actually might change your mind. It might change my mind. So let's take a look at how labor intensive her, uh, what did she, what did she call it? Her dressage routine is.
<laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, man. This is this is so crazy, man. This is this is so intense, dude. I, I, I was wrong. Sight, nigga. No, no. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> what, e what even is this, dude? Bro, this is how I walk around whenever, like, I walk into a store and then, like, clearly an employee had just mopped and I'm not trying to step on the area where they mopped. Yeah, th that's what she's doing, dude. This little hop skippity jump is what I do when I'm trying to avoid my cats running around at 3 a.m. when I want to go make a sandwich. Like, you feel telling me that her walking around like skips made her look like this? Yeah, no. I've seen a lot of fake videos in my day, and this is definitely one of them. But, you know, I could be wrong. You know, maybe the sport is easy, but the training is really hard. Like, people who play golf, you know, they don't just hit balls. They also be in the gym, training their arms. They have a really, really good, strong swing. You know, they, they, they gotta get strong. They gotta get ripped, right? I mean... I mean, <laughs> no, but seriously, though, I'm, I'm not fully convinced yet that, that, you know, may, maybe this might not be a real sport. So may, maybe this, let, let's take a look at whatever training videos, okay? Let's, look, I'm, I'm honestly curious, man. Let's see what's up. Bro, it looks like she's trying to stomp out a roach that's crawling around her kitchen. Like, she's really out there stomping like she just saw a spider and needs to kill it or else her entire bloodline is fucked. I mean, given what we're witnessing here, there probably won't be a bloodline, but... I digress. You honestly, at this point, I think I've seen enough. My scientific conclusion to this hypothesis is that hobby horsing is something that little kids do at an after-school program, not an actual sport, bro. What, what is this shit? Why is she out here training to, what, prance around and maybe hop over an obstacle that's three feet high? Yeah, that's such a hard and intense sport to train for, dude. No sport in existence has anything on hobby horsing, man. I, I, honestly, I, I applaud her. Not for the training, of course. I applaud her for her bravery for posting this on the internet. Because honestly, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of balls, man. It couldn't be me. The moral of today's video is, uh, if you have a hobby, even if it does involve horsing, uh, I don't know, just, like, go have fun, bro. I guess, like, you do you, but, uh, maybe use one or two of your brain cells to think, hmm, maybe I shouldn't claim that this hobby of mine is super hard and labor-intensive, knowing full well that it isn't, you know, and, and then maybe you won't get cooked on the internet, you know, J you know, j just maybe. Seriously, though, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a fat like on it, and if you're new, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Also, make sure to go over and follow the Twitch, Twitter, Discord, blah, 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 self-promotion, all the links in the description, all that good stuff. Also, sorry if the lack of videos recently. I know I was being consistent for a while but my car got stolen uh, a couple weeks ago and <laughs> then it, it got crashed into the side of a family's house well technically it was their backyard into their shed but anyways i'm gonna just keep thugging it out and i'm gonna keep going bro okay nothing stopped me but uh yeah i really hope you guys have a fantastic day i've been lofi peace out broskies